about the one thing that he did that was the difference between life and death. I got a phone call around 1230 early Tuesday morning from the UAB trauma unit. Your son has been in a motorcycle accident. Kathleen Nassif jumped out of bed. I was freaking out. She raced to the hospital. I got up here and I found out that he had two broken vertebrae. One was crushed, one was broken. His sternum was fractured. All his ribs were broken. Injuries so extensive, she wasn't sure Chris would live. I thought, no, it can't be, it won't be, because I lost my his older brother 13 months ago to suicide. And I thought, I can't go through this again. And it's same hospital, same floor. And I just, I can't go through this again. We can't lose him. Thanks to Deputy Josh Donahue with the Shelby County Sheriff's Office, she didn't. He saw something out of the ordinary under a guardrail and stopped to investigate it further. This is where Deputy Donahue found Chris's motorcycle crash. He then pulled out his flashlight and searched through the thick kudzu. He saw something white about 80 feet from the bike and it was Christopher's arm. Nassif thinks Chris had an angel watching over him, her late son, Josh. It was Josh's bike his sister-in-law gave to him, and the fact that the sheriff's name was Josh. Nassif is eternally grateful to the deputy for saving her son. He's not dead. In Shelby County, Larissa Scott, WVTM 13.